story a shakeup in the faith community as the Bishop of Knoxville announced his retirement today. Now the move comes as Bishop Richard Stika, Stika excuse me, faced more and more criticism for how he handled claims of sexual misconduct within the Knoxville Diocese. Now Pope Francis accepting the Bishop's request to retire according to a statement put out by the Diocese this morning. The statement quoting Stika as saying he had recently sent a letter asking Pope Francis to grant that petition. We should point out that back in May, a Catholic news website, The Pillar, reported that the Vatican had asked Sticka to resign. In his announcement, the bishop recognized a mix of the criticism he has faced along with a string of health challenges as reasons for his exit. Those health issues range from diabetes to a heart attack and multiple stretches in the hospital over the past several years. We spoke with Bishop Sticka just within the last hour. It's tough to hear criticism. Um, most of the time it's been unwarranted, but it's real. But for me, uh, diabetes, diabetes is a strange disease, and anything can affect it because it's, uh, you know, emotions and anything. So I'm just kind of dragging. For the last six weeks after Easter, I visited 36 parishes and put 4,200 miles in my car. And I've noticed being blind in one eye at night, it just bothers me a little bit when I drive, especially in the rain. So it's just a combination of things. But, you know, I'm still a priest and I'm still a bishop, and it's just a new phase in my life. Now, earlier this month, we showed you a protest outside the Cathedral of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, advocates for victims of child sex abuse, demanding that the bishop step down. The group claimed that the diocese under Sticka's leadership had a history of trying to hide scandals. It pointed to a 2022 lawsuit filed against Sticka and the diocese claiming defamation and negligence. A musician saying they, they had accused a seminarian of rape and that the diocese tried to cover it up. Now, by that point, the group behind the protest had already been calling for Sticka's removal with a series of claims against the diocese, including another lawsuit by a woman who claimed she had been groped by a priest in Gatlinburg. And here again, the plaintiff argued that the diocese tried to keep the scandal quiet, the alleged victim saying that the church discouraged her from cooperating with police. Sticka today revealed to reporters that he was a victim of abuse by a priest during his freshman year of high school and argued he has seen the clergy abuse issue from both sides, affecting his handling of what the Knoxville Diocese has experienced. Yeah, but I was abused by a priest when I was a freshman in high school in Howard, Michigan. I reported it, um, and then years later as a bishop, I wanted to check if there was a record, and there was. And, and so, but I wanted to make sure, and the priest is no longer in ministry. So that was my, my and so I understand both sides of the equation. You know, as a, as a victim, you know, I don't tout it, I don't advertise it, but I know how that is. But I also know that there are innocent people out there that are accused. I, I've seen that too. And then there are victims whose life have been tortured. And I understand that. I saw therapy. And every one, once in a while it'll resurface, but I understand it wasn't the church, it was that man. It was that man. And that's, a, that's an important uh, understanding of how, I, how I've dealt with it. Bishop Sticka's ties to an even higher ranking clergyman also raised some eyebrows. Cardinal Justin Regali in 2011. Regali retired from his role with the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, moving to Knoxville, where he has lived in retirement with Sticka ever since. Bishop Sticka served as Regali's secretary, chancellor, and vicar general for nearly a decade. Cardinal Regali's retirement came after a grand jury accused the Archdiocese of sheltering priests accused of sex abuse and lying about it to victims. Now, Sticka mentioned Regali in today's release, saying that he would like to remain in active ministry at a slower pace near his hometown in St. Louis and continue living with Regali. Sticka has served as bishop of the Knoxville Diocese since 2009. He was appointed by Pope Benedict in the, sixth, uh, the 16th in January of that year, then installed in March of 2009. His tenure is the longest for the Diocese of Knoxville, and he was the third bishop since the diocese was established by Pope John Paul II. Now, during Sticka's time, he oversaw the building of the new Cathedral of the Sacred Heart, which was dedicated in 2018. He actually brought a stone from the building to the Vatican in 2015, where it was blessed by Pope Francis. His time here has also seen changes in the Catholic Church, which Pope Benedict resigning, Pope Francis being elected. Also that year, Sticka survived a near-death experience when his blood sugar went dangerously high, needing to be put on a ventilator. While Sticka aims to return home to St. Louis, as we mentioned, he says he plans to return often to Knoxville as Bishop Emeritus for masses and to take in UT games. Now, we spoke today about his legacy.
I, I look at all the accomplishments in 14 years, I should really be tired. Um, but I do so joyfully. This diocese is in such good shape, not because of me, but because I've, I have great co-workers all, all through the diocese. New parishes, vocations. I just ordained uh, four deacons and three priests. So the diocese is in good hands, but I'm just running out of energy. And I, I think it's time to move on. Sticka in his statement, asking for prayers for himself and in support of the man picked by the Vatican to lead the diocese on a temporary basis, the most Reverend Shelton Fobb, Archbishop of Louisville, who will serve as apostolic administrator until a new bishop is actually appointed and installed here in Knoxville. Now, the Louisville Archdiocese is putting out a statement from Fobb asking people to, quote, pray for an openness to the guidance of the Holy Spirit during this time of transition for the Diocese of Knoxville, end of quote. 